I'm Graham Downs, President and CEO of ATAC Resources, listed on the TSX Venture Exchange. And welcome to the Invest Yukon virtual site tour at the Rack the Gold Project. We're here today at the Rack the Gold Project, located within the traditional territory of the Nacho Nayak Dun First Nation. The Rack the Gold Project is 185 kilometers long, 1,700 square kilometers, and is comprised of three separate projects. Uh, the Osiris, Orion and the Raw. The Raw project hosts the Advanced Stage Tiger Deposit and is situated in the Polymetallic District with over 20 other unexplored targets. And it hosts almost 500,000 ounces of gold at just over 3 grams. The Orion project hosts Carlin-type gold mineralization over a 2.5 kilometer strike length and is along a regional scale Anubis Fault. The Osiris project hosts Canada's first Carlin-type gold discovery with an inferred resource of 1.7 million ounces over 4 grams. We initially found the Tiger Gold Deposit when we were looking for tungsten. At the very edge of our soil sample line, we found multi-gram gold in soils right up here at the Tiger Deposit, and that was in 2007. We followed that up with more exploration, lots of drilling, and we've delineated the Tiger Gold Deposit. The Tiger Gold Deposit is quite unique in its uh, very high grade and oxide deposit. One of the holes that we drilled uh, uh, many years ago was 28 meters to 24 grams, probably one of the highest gold grades ever drilled in the Yukon. Uh, we recently redid our PEA and at a sensitivity of 1550 uh, gold at US, we get about $160 million MPV with a 70% IRR. Obviously with today's gold prices it's uh, probably substantially higher than that. This year's program is uh, centered around the airstrip target. Uh, it's a 12 square kilometer gold anomaly that uh, we haven't really followed up. In 2016, we had two holes that uh, bottomed in mineralization. One was 13 meters at uh, 1.5 grams. The other was uh, 22 meters of just under a gram. Uh, we're really excited about this uh, project and this target this year. So we're uh, gonna be doing uh, about 10 to 20 rab holes and then we're, we're bringing in the, the diamond drill uh, right away to do between uh, two, three, 4,000 meters, depending on, on what we're finding. It's going to be the first time that a major drill program has been done on the airstrip property. Welcome to the Osiris Project. This is uh, where we have the Osiris resource at the eastern end of the Rack the Gold Project. Uh, just down here is where we had our uh, discovery hole back in 2010. Our first hole when we came out here uh, was initiated because well, we had a team come in here for two days and take a whole bunch of talus samples and we were getting two, three, five, ten gram gold in talus. It was, a, it was spectacular. So immediately we uh, staked a little bit more ground. We got the drills out here as fast as we could. It's the first Carlin style resource ever found outside of Nevada. So it's uh, pretty spectacular. You can see right down here, that pad right there, uh, our first hole we drilled uh, 65 meters of just over four grams so uh, just an amazing hole for our very first hole uh, that obviously was a major discovery we followed up with I think it was nine more holes uh, that year uh, I think every single one of them hit uh, gold mineralization with significant widths and uh, here you have it that uh, we now have well over 200 holes and then our other uh, primary uh, resource is the Conrad, which is just over here. So between four open pits here, between Osiris and Conrad, we have just over a million ounces at over four grams in open pit. Uh, for a total resource of uh, almost 1.7 million ounces at uh, a grade of over four grams. So, um, and that's our maiden resource. So it's, it's, it's spectacular. All of these are, are wide open. We did a little bit more drilling in uh, 2018. We haven't put those holes into the resource, but we uh, stepped out on two of our uh, main targets, our zones, and hit significant mineralization. So there's uh, every one of these targets out here is still open, open in, for extension. So uh, just for an early stage discovery, it's, it's uh, one of the highest grade open pit resources over a million ounces in North America for a maiden resource. So uh, quite spectacular.
We've just arrived at uh, the Orion project, which is in between the, it's just 10 kilometers from the Osiris project. In 2012, we came out to Anubis. We had some other anomalies out here. We found some, uh, I think it was like 10, 20 gram float material. Uh, we set up the drill pad. This also is Carlin style mineralization out here. Hole one was up there at, uh, again, 20 meters of eight and a half grams. We also got, uh, in 2012, nine grams over uh, 16 meters. And then uh, in 2011, we also got uh, uh, 15 meters of a gram. The majority of our work that was done to the east over here, we were getting great grades, but the scale of this is incredible. Two kilometers away, we've got a nice grade of almost 10 grams over about three meters. Obviously, this is a target. It's a major fault, and it's just a lack of drilling, um, you know, that, that, that we need to uh, get back here and, and do some drilling. But, uh, the potential in this fault area is, is absolutely enormous. I'm Adam Coulter. I'm the Vice President of Exploration for ATAC Resources. Uh, we're here at our Rackley Gold Project. Uh, we have some core from our Tiger Gold Deposit. Starting out looking at our sulfide zone. So the gold here was deposited by a, a nearby intrusion. Uh, we've done some age dating to confirm the mineralization. Uh, here that we see at Tiger is the same age um, as a causative intrusion about two kilometers to the east of here. Um, and what we see at depth is this beautiful Tiger striping uh, in the geology. And uh, we've got these bands of pyrite and arsenopyrite. Uh, some of them, as they get closer to surface, are oxidized and move into some geology that looks a lot more like this. You can see some of the original textures uh, within the rocks, uh, just like over there, just like that uh, tiger striping, but again, um, has been exposed to the air for such a long period of time uh, that it's been oxidized. And the great result out of this oxidation process is that we end up with really great recoveries of gold, uh, seeing averages of over 90%. As we come back up to the, the top of the ridge here, I think it's, uh, it's pretty important to just kind of give you a sense of scale of the, of the project. We've got you know, that we're at the eastern end of the project right now. We have about 10 more kilometers or so to the east. But as far as you can see, directly west, we own another 170 kilometers of property. We own the entire district and it's completely unencumbered. There's no royalties, incredible amount of potential, and we own it all. Because we've done so much work over the years, uh, there's no cost for assessment. So um, we could hold this property for, at zero cost until I believe it's 2035 and, and 2040. So uh, that's, that's the beauty of the Yukon, is that uh, there's no annual fees. If you do the work, you can uh, apply that assessment for years to come.